had to rebuild from scratch, but tell me what I can make for you. Must have known Sokolov, of course. Clever, yes, but fundamentally. Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. My furnishings have been installed at last. Entry 1-4. It seems we have moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to reject lethal force and control the man that is previously inaccessible. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. 
Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. laughter, and they are singing the old songs, linking arms, but that was from a happier time. Well, let's get down to it. 
First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the over... Ready to go? Just give the signal. left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. one was moving what yeah the little one not possible I inspected them myself keep working well he ain't moving no more what will I do now <laughs> oh nasty rat get away Good. please I'm coming I'm a bit shaken right now I saw some terrible things today. Them than us. Good. At least some of them Keep them coming.
Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been Keep extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan. City's dead. We'll make it three more months. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery, the Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium, and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. I told you the knives go on the left. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. Where are you? Somebody, get over here! Kick it in, King. Where'd you run off? Somebody, give me a hand. I told you the knives go on the left. They always go on the left. You never listen. Get him. Just a matter of time. I think the little birdies are sad today. the knives go up. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. 
I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I think the baby I I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are... But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. We reach into your pockets, and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. Across the line, and you'll have your throat cut. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me. Huh? Gamble on the hounds. Stupid rats. Plague. Plague's a bunch of crap. I don't know. Stupid cut. I'm not so hot. I'm in the gallery. Thank you. 
You now. the door handle to Dr. Gelba. What was that? Probably 